this is Knuckle from Knuckle Beats and in this short tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to get that fast two-step hi-hat pattern for trap on GarageBand iOS. So the first thing you need to do to get that hi-hat pattern is to have a hi-hat sample to play with. And to get that hi-hat sample you have to press on Smart Piano, press the mixer icon, oh it's playing right now. To get that hi-hat sample press on the loop icon on the top right of the screen. Just type in hats, you'll come up with all these options. I have a few favorites selected. I'm just going to drag this around the block hi-hat into the section, so. So I just want one hi-hat playing so I can play around with it. So I'm going to split the loop after the first hi-hat uh, finishes, but before the second one starts. So just this. Next thing I want to do is go plus sampler. I'm just going to drag the hi-hat into the sampler. So I can just play around with the pitch over here. And now what I want to do to get that fast um, pattern is go to the arpeggiator over here, press run, uh, bring the octave range down to 1, go to the note range, note rate, put it to 1 eighth of the note which is also the 2 step I have. It should sound something like this now. And now I can just delete off this section. Now I can record the 2 step hi hat pattern by just clicking on one note continuously. So let's do that. Now I'm just gonna, I want it to be 4 bars, so I'm just gonna reduce this to 4 bars. Copy this into the next section and join this together. This is the simple hi-hat pattern, but if you want to uh, go even further and add some rolls, I'll show you how to do that, so how I do it. So go to edit, double tap press edit. To give it some bounce, uh, I put 3 hi-hats in, each quantized. I reduce the volume to get it as the same velocity as the other ones. I'm just going to extend it by two thirds of one of these small bars and rearrange it just so that they touch each other. Just to give it a little bit of bounce. I'm just going to delete that, put that down here and this is what it sounds like. I'm just going to add some more hi-hats in there. I want to add something down here, something like this. Yeah, that sounds pretty nice. I'm just gonna stretch the hi-hats to touch one, or one another. I'm just gonna... Um, so basically what I'm gonna do now is do the same same type of thing I did with the three hi-hats, but a different type. So I'm gonna uh, put six hi-hats in, extend them by only a third this time, rearrange it. Now I'm just gonna check the velocity is pretty low. Yep, but uh, this time I want it to go from a high velocity to a low velocity. So I'm just going to reduce the velocity little by little, one by one, till it almost goes to zero. I also want it to pitch down uh, to up, just to give it a little more bounce. So let's do that now, so this is it. I also want a two step over here. I'm in a 16th note. I'm just going to copy this over here. So I'm just going to put everything down to one, one note. I'm just going to copy this into the last section. For a little bit extra bounce, I'm just going to copy these three notes, paste it onto here, but I'm going to lift the pitch. I know I'm getting a bit um, crazy with the hi-hats, but that's to give you an idea of how to get these rolls. I'm just going to uh, make a simple drum beat out of this and show you uh, what the outcome is like. So this is what the final outcome of the beat turned out to be. So uh, let me know in the comments below what you think of it. Leave a comment, like, and subscribe.